There's a few parcels here, too. This is for Dr. Gilbertson, and that big one is for Jeff Pringle up at the school. Thank you, Mrs. Goggins. Do take care, Pat. There's some very windy weather on the way. I'll get this delivered straight away, Mrs. Goggins. Come on, Jess. Bye, Pat. Good luck. <laughs> Settle down, please, class. Now, I don't need to remind you about our school trip. Oh, yes! How about we go camping this weekend? Camping! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you get permission from your parents, mind. I've always wanted to go camping. Me too. It's not fair. I can't go. My auntie's coming to stay. Camping's yuck. What? It would be dark, freezing cold, full of creepy crawlies with horrible burnt food. Ugh. Oh, no. If we stay here, we could play with my new doll's house. That's much better. Isn't it, Lucy? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Uh, I think I'll stay at home too. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Made up your minds, then. Who wants to go camping? Put your hand up. Well, that's great. I'll book the minibus. <sighs> oh, no. Really? Oh, dear. The children will be so disappointed. Anyway, thanks for letting us know. I used to go camping when I was a lad. It was great fun, sleeping under the stars, singing songs round a campfire. <laughs> I think Jess would like to go too. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, children, but I've got some bad news. All the minibuses are booked out for the weekend. So I'm afraid our trip's off. Oh, no! Um, don't cancel just yet, Jeff. I may be able to help. It's the old post bus. Hasn't been used for years. It's beautiful! Well, it needs a new coat of paint and a few bits and pieces. But I reckon it could make a great school bus. It's a great way for something old to turn into something new. We can do it with a little try. Like a caterpillar changes to a butterfly. It's brilliant! It looks looks brilliant. brilliant! Well done, everyone. Come on now. Home time. We've an early start tomorrow. <laughs> hmm. I don't think everyone's that keen on this camping trip. Would you mind if I came along? Wait, Pat. I was just thinking the same thing. I could do with the help. That's settled then. I'll bring the camping gear in my van. We'll soon make sure everyone has a good time. Don't worry, Tom. You'll be fine. Oh, yes, Pat. All aboard. Ready, Pat? I'll be right behind you. Have a good time. Huh. We're going to have much more fun playing with my doll's house. We have to put the guy ropes at exactly the right angle. Hurry up! 
up, Charlie. No, it's... it's got to go this way. No, no. This way. Whoops. Oh. Oh. I think you need to start with this. Look. Thanks, Tom. Couldn't have done it without you. Not going on the camping trip then, girls? No way. <gasps> oh. oh, well, I can't say I envy them. The weather forecast says it's going to be windy tonight. <laughs> See, I knew we were right to stay. To stay. Oh. Uh, uh, you. Oh. Sounds like you've got a cold coming, Sarah. Best get you into bed. But Lucy and I will go to play with my dog. Sorry, another time, eh? Now come along, Sarah. <gasps> oh. I should have gone camping with the others. Oh, no, dear. You'll be much safer indoors. Right, children. We need some firewood. Now don't go tearing off any branches. Just look for the wood that's already on the ground and keep well away from the fire. I'm sure I brought some matches with me. Oh, well. I'm going to light the fire the old-fashioned way. Won't take long. Hey, look, look what I found. That's way too big. I'm cold. And I'm hungry. I hope Dad gets look. that fire going soon. Come on. Light. Are these your matches, Pat? Ah, thank you, Tom. Just what I needed. Mmm. <laughs> I never thought burnt sausages could taste so good. Yeah! So, what do you think of camping so far, Tom? Not bad. Not bad? I think it's brilliant. Me yeah, too. Brilliant. No campfire feast would be complete without a sing song. Meow, meow. Jolly camping weather and a gentle warming breeze. Floating light as a feather, rustling through the trees. If we sing, I'll swing together. Now then, <sighs> I know you're all excited, but you, you must try to sleep. Oh. Guess what, Dad? It's getting ever so windy out there. Dad? Stronger and stronger. Don't worry. We're quite safe in here. Oh. What's that noise? Oh, oh, oh no. the tent! Oh, oh no! Oh. Well, at least the other tent's all right. Oh. 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 
Wait, now what are we going to do? What are we going to do then now? I don't know. Well, we have to sleep oh, somewhere tonight. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, where are we? Excuse me. No, I don't know. Let me think. Get oh, the guy. No, no. no. <coughs> um, I've got an idea. No, no. 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 can't do that. We've got to be self-sufficient. I've got an idea. <gasps> Why don't we sleep in the bus? Just try to make yourself comfy as best you can. So that was a strange noise. Bananas? Mind the crocodile? Oh. <laughs> we had a great night's sleep. I didn't. OK, everyone, let's go home. Oh, oh, no, please. Look, they're here. So, how did it go? It was dark and windy, and there were burnt sausages, and we lost the tent. And... See, I told you it would be a disaster. It was fantastic. Oh, we can't wait to go again. Next time, I'm definitely coming with you. Well, now we've got our school bus, we can go any time we like. Thanks, Pat. It's you we have to thank, Tom. Yes, I don't know what we would have done without your good ideas. There's just one thing, though, Tom. Have you got any good ideas to stop people snoring? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, what's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> postman, postman Pat, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter?